Hey yo, what is up guys, Zancraft here, welcome back to another new video. Um, in today's video, I am going to be talking about um, a, another boxing type of thing. And this will be my last boxing video for a while, because you know, as much as I do love the sport, I do want to do stuff that's new, I do want to get back to old stuff like skits and video games. And I will do that next time, so um, for now though, I really want to talk about this because today was the Kingpin Tournament when I'm filming this. And it was an amazing event. Um, so many good fights. So many amazing fighters. Um, Barbie dominated as I thought she would. She did great. I'm so, I'm so excited for that. I really do think she's going to make it to the end of the women's finals. Um, then you got Jarvis. Surprising everyone with the stoppage instead of the unanimous decision. Everyone thought he would win, but he won in a better fashion than anyone thought he would have, which is crazy. And then next you have also Gibb, obviously, and Austin. That was a way bit of a closer match in the first two rounds than the first fight. Austin was a very more unbalanced. He was a lot more composed. But at the end, he was getting too pressured and he must have twisted his ankle or something. I don't know what the ankle injury is yet. It's not announced when I'm recording this. But yeah, snooze you lose, but um, big dub for Gib. And also Winderson Nunes. What a freaking guy, man. That, that was wild. I, I always knew he was a good fighter after his exhibition with... Um, I don't know how to probably say it. I'll put it right there. I always knew he was a good fighter, but I didn't know he was like that. That was, that was good. That was a good fight. And I really think he's going to make it to the finals. Um, and uh, the one fight I'm going to be talking about today, Maya Nate and King Kenny. Unfortunately for me, the person who I rooted for got out. And, um... I don't know, it was a little bit unexpected. Um, I guess congratulations to Kenny. But whatever, um, regardless of my bias, he did pretty well and um, I guess uh, no easy opponent. And I know a lot of people are gonna clown on Nate and I really don't want them to because he has had good fights in the past and he is a good fighter he's he works hard and I'm gonna talk about one of the most important attributes he has and that is how he reacted to his first loss today and I just kind of want to go over it because when I saw it it just felt like he understands he gets it he gets how this works and that is interesting to me because all the other fighters who have taken a loss don't really. I don't know. It takes a big man to not only take a loss, but take a loss with a smile and take a loss with notes. So let's get into it. I'm back from Fredo's fighting. I've got my memory card upstairs. That's so okay. So I'm doing this on my iPhone. On the iPhone. How is it? How are you feeling? I'm okay. I made a mistake. Kenny capitalized on it and you live and you learn. We got about five weeks to go back and train and we'll be ready for the next fight. So as we can see from the start, Nate is very enthusiastic, um, just about the interview in general. And he's just like, oh, you forgot your memory card? That's fine, we'll do it on the iPhone. It, it's, it's all good. And um, off the rip, he is just like very humbled about everything. And he's just like, he like explains that he made a mistake, Kenny capitalized. He got the win, but he's ready for the next fight. He's got five weeks to prepare and he's going to be ready for it. Do you feel if you had more time to prepare, it would have gone a little differently? Who knows? No point in thinking about it because you can't change the past. It is what it is and you just keep moving forward. And when he's asked the question that um, if he had more time, would it become differently? He just says, live and you learn and you don't have to really think about it anymore like it's in the past past is past which has is like a seriously big thing to do as a human being to accept defeat and accept defeat like that with like a knockout in boxing with 
an F on a report card with like just uh, getting your heart taken out. Just everything is just so humbled about this explanation so far about why he lost. And and I mean, Kenny did great. I, you know, I, I'm kind of upset with myself because I could see exactly he was just waiting for it and he was bending down every time I every time I jab, like he'd bend down and I should have been throwing the uppercut. But I mean, it is what it is. You live and learn. And next fight we come back. But afterwards I talked to him. Yeah. And I was like, like you know, we we talked. Everything's good. And I told him, Kenny. You gotta win this whole tournament now, so that I can say I lost to the winner. Most important, I gave him good luck, I talked to him in daily, everything's good, and we had fun. And he was just so, like, very kind after it happened. Talked to Kenny, said he should win. It's the one thing I don't agree with him on. Anyway, he talks to him, and um, he's just, like, very humble about everything that happened, and he was just saying that he was uh, really just disappointed in himself and more so than the outcome. He saw the outcome and like he said he could have capitalized and threw the uppercut, but he didn't and um, it's just his mistake. And the fact that he can say that with a straight face after it happens takes a lot of balls. In your self though, after the knockout, you're all well? Yeah, I feel okay, totally nice, fine. Nice. Totally fine. I was a bit worried for you there. No, I'm okay, okay. Nothing. Okay. In, it was the second round. It, got it was the second round, round, yeah. So after the first round, what was the corner telling you? What information? My corner was telling me exactly what I just said. They said, <clears throat> he's ducking down. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, he said, he's ducking down. Throw that uppercut. They said, do the jab. When you jab, he ducks down and throw that uppercut. Mm. And I didn't do it. I just threw another one too, and that's why I got hit. So he says the exact same thing that the coroners told him and he just is just like really enthusiastic about telling it and just the fact that um, like he should have done it and he didn't but he's saying it like it's a simple mistake which you know it was it was to him it was to me it was and end of the day um, Simple mistakes come out with different results in the ring and um, can lead to wins or losses depending on who makes the mistake. Well, well, you live and you learn. You live and you learn. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm okay. But for yourself, next, who's next to you? Who are the two well, fighters? I'll, I'll fight the loser of Winderson and Philippe. Okay. If I could choose, obviously I can't choose. If I could choose, I want Winderson for the same yeah. thing I've always said. He's got the biggest audience and, and that's my goal. I, I'm proud of myself. The fact that I, I was able to get into the ring, I was able to fight, I was able to make it here. So uh, it's just a big journey starts with one step. So here we are. Mm, certainly. I appreciate your time. Thanks yeah, you thank you, man. Thank you. Finally finishes it off with uh, you live and you learn and he's ready for the loser of Winderson, Nunez, and Fulip Peck. And obviously that is Philippe Peck. And I think he's going to absolutely crush that fight. He has a lot of potential. He showed tiny bits of it, but he got caught. And unfortunately, you know, it led to his loss. Um, anyway, it all in all, if you can take notes from this video or just like what my main Nate said, um, is to take a loss and try to not, not to be salty about it. Obviously, it's going to be painful, but you live and you learn and you can um, like bounce back and become better with the loss and you don't have to um in the long run just like keep losing and losing and losing sometimes when it gets too dark it gets even worse for you um for austin earlier obviously um it like helped him in the long run to be like very quiet and very more so serious about this and like he did a little bit better in those three rounds, but it's also to the detriment because maybe it would make you a bit, little bit too scared or too angry to throw and capitalize and that could lead to another loss. And just all in all in the uh, long run, just uh, you gotta take that loss and um, just learn from it and not only that 
but just like realize your mistakes realize what you truly did wrong he made a mistake he came down to his downfall and um, he's just ready for the next challenge and ready to improve and that's better than someone just like holding the mistake in or or like getting angry about it and um, it's it's just a lot kind of like uh, well eat sharks and um, how he reacted to that obviously it was a very serious fight but um, the way he's he reacted to it um, was it warranted yeah sure but at the same time he could have taken the higher hill and like been a little more uh, humble in the defeat and still uh, hungry for that rematch but you know it, it, it happens and everything but yeah I just feel like uh, Nate is a very good competitor not only because he has um, the fighting down but he also has the mindset and um, that mindset is the winner in my eyes it's uh, sometimes the angry mindset is good but the other time the uh, calmer mindset is also good and just like how you can improve yourself and like work to be the best version of yourself so yeah anyways guys I hope you enjoyed that video if you did please like and subscribe um, when I am filming this we are so close to 300 subscribers and that makes me so excited um, I've wanted to um, get this uh, for so long and thank you all um, but yeah anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out